I'm Fred Pickle, the new City of Los Angeles ratepayer advocate, and I am speaking tonight uh, to a group in Joe Buscayano's district uh, about LADWP rate increases and my role in the process. I uh, visited many groups and businesses around the district, and I've heard loud and clear that they are concerned about these upcoming rate hikes. This is Dr. Pickle's, Dr. Pickle's first community meeting since he's been appointed and um, thank you so much for accepting our invitation. The rate proposals uh, EWP has, they're expected to bring out in the next month or so, a one on water and one on power. Um, they're in a big rush to get these done. They'd like to put these increases in for a five year period. Um, I, I think five year, a five year period is too long because the energy business changes too fast. Um, and uh, they would like them to be looked at very quickly because they're anxious to get these investments going. Um, so we're having a little arm wrestle with DWP on how quickly this has to be evaluated. But do a thorough analysis from your perspective, uh, I think we need to take our time and we may have to stage it so we do the power one first and then the water one. But that's still under discussion. I want to discuss getting a certificate of need process in so we can see three to five years out what increases might be contemplated later. Why is there a hurry, uh, such a rush in increasing DWP rates? There are environmental deadlines on the water quality side and on the once through cooling side that are driving some of this. There is also a set of state standards for increasing renewables to roughly one-third by 2020. Do you anticipate increases in consumption? And if so, how do you anticipate handling that? The long-run industry trend is to see uh, one to three percent growth. The consumption is bound to increase uh, in an almost an exponential rate. And what I hear about the, the trend lines, what do you call the infrastructure, infrastructure is not sufficient to carry that or even address that. We don't need immediate generation investments for new use. I understand the distribution system and the local transmission system needs upgrades. And that's a component of the rate increases. We had a little conversation earlier about um, uh, payroll and um, Dr. Pickle was telling me that it's really a, a relatively smaller part of the equation. The labor costs overall on DWP are about 25% of the total. And since I'm talking about a possible increase of a doubling of rates over a 10 year period, even if everybody at DWP worked for free, uh, there'd still be a 50% increase. The labor cost component is not something that is the top item to focus on top item to focus on is the investment strategy and how long we commit to different things. By focusing on labor rates and labor costs, we're looking where it's easy to look and not looking at the capital investments and really driving the rates. And I'm, I'm, the, I'm the rate payer advocate, not the labor negotiator. The asset numbers here are very big. Uh, DWP's current assets, water and power combined, are over $18 billion. And to drive these rates up, these, these assets are going to go well over uh, $20 billion in the next few years. And that's, we pay the mortgage on that. This is Carl City. I'm a, I'm a resident, a local resident of Harbor City. And uh, the most important thing I learned tonight was that we now have an advocate that we can ask these questions to and hopefully get the kind of responses that we're looking for uh, and the information we need so we can take a stand and be, uh, ask our government to be more, more responsive. This is Linda Alexander. I'm with the Central San Pedro Neighborhood Council. The most important thing I learned tonight was a careful consideration of the expenses going forward 
with DWP and that the rages that have angered so many people are not the worst part of this issue. The need for heavy investment is the real culprit here on the expense. Hi, I'm Joanne Bally, Executive Director of the Harbor City Harbor Gateway Chamber and a resident of Harbor City. The most important thing I heard tonight was I can look forward to in 10 years that my water and power bill will be now $1,200 up every two months instead of $600 every two months. Hi, I'm David Green from San Pedro and the thing I thought was most interesting is actual, you know, we hear a lot about uh, the DWP workers, but actually in terms of the rates is the labor component is very, very small compared to the investments and in infrastructure and things like that. So what we see in the newspaper in terms of what's going on in DWP doesn't seem to match what's really happening on the ground and the things that are going to affect our rates. There is universal concern about rate increases and uh, a desire to understand what's driving these rate increases. And the community is really relatively sophisticated about uh, their questions and their concerns.